Diana, hello, welcome to Empower Network TV. Thank you, thank you for having me. Well, I'm really excited to hear more of your story, talk to me about leadership and such, because you've obviously learned to lead yourself, which is key in being a leader. So let's jump into your story. How did you learn to lead yourself in life? I'm really curious. I've, so, uh, well, I'll, I'll say that for many years, I led myself down the wrong road. And um, so I was addicted to drugs and alcohol for the majority of my use and made some bad decisions and just got tired of the results I was getting and uh, got plugged in. Actually, I went into a drug rehab and got a therapist, um, came out and really just dug into my self-leadership. I, I got into personal growth and I found that I was, one, happy. You know, I was happy, you know, living this life focused on me and growing and um, really just dug in and found that I was in love with that. And I've never stopped. I gave it all. People thought I was crazy um, because it was all about me growing. And to this day, it's still all about me growing. I love personal growth. Is it easy? No, it is not for the week. But I love the results I get. What first hooked you on on personal development and on on taking full responsibility for your life? What was the catalyst for that? I would have to say, um, being sick and tired of being in the the results I was getting, the life I was living, I was over it. You know, so I was really willing to make some changes. Um, miserable just miserable. You know, when I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, no matter what I did was not, my marriage wasn't right. No matter what I did, I wasn't happy no matter what I did. So, you know, I kind of was like, you have an option. Either you keep doing the same thing and getting the same results, or you try something a little different because everybody had told me for the longest time, you know, Diana, you need to do this, this, and this, and this, this, and this. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. I mean, that's just too hard. But when you're tired of living that life, you give it a shot. All right. So let's talk about the shot you gave it. Let's talk about that shot. What did you do and what, how did you change it? And what does it look like now? So it looks very different now versus then. I will say that. So the shot that I gave it was because I told you I was addicted to drugs. So I went to a drug rehab for probably the hundredth time. Actually, it was probably the 10th drug rehab I had been to. So I say, never give up on people, right? So it was probably the 10th one. And um, when I went in there, I made the decision. It's, and I believe that everything relies on the decision, right? So I made a decision to do whatever they said do. So when I got there, they said, you know, follow the rules, get a sponsor, do, they give me these, all these things to do, get a therapist, get on it. They had a therapist there. It was in California. And so I did everything they said. Honestly, when I got there too, I was like, these girls said, we get on our knees and pray at night. I said, I'm doing that too. <laughs> Whatever they said, I would do anything they said, do if they'd have said jump off a bill, I'd have probably done it because I was like, I'm just over this. So the willingness, um, so I was willing to do anything. And when I left California, I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina at the time. And so I went back and I got a relapse, what they called a relapse prevention therapist. And um, I went to her every day. I, you know, not every day. I'm sorry. I went to her once a week for probably the first three years. And then it cut back. Now I had insurance and it was a little expensive, but what I did was, everything she said do uh, when she said make notes on the you know on your mirror that said you are worthy I made notes on my mirror that said you are worthy if she said you know go do xyz I said I'm doing it it fear did not stop me from anything at that point right so I did this and I went to AA meetings and I got sponsors and my life consumed of me changing the habits first because I had to change the habits so now, go ahead, sorry. So basically you were like a dream, like every coach wishes they had clients like you. 
Yeah, that's probably true. And the reason, and no, it is true because my old therapist said to me one day, many years after I had been through all this, she said, Diane, I've never had somebody come in here that is as willing and will do whatever I say do. You have just been, you got the results because you did everything that I said do. Okay, so and, let's go to today then. What does today look like? Yeah, so today, um, I don't, so it's very different today because I don't even think about drugs or alcohol, but I will say that back then it took away the desire. I never had the desire again. Um, and that's not always the case. And I get that because before that day, I had always had the desire. So now, you know, my life consists of stepping out of the comfort zone. So I don't, you know, things that I want in my life, like I'm a coach I like, I want to speak in front of people. I want to share my story and I do that stuff uncomfortable. So even if, you know, like right now, I'm not always comfortable being on, on a camera. That's not my thing, but I'll do it anyway, because I, one, have a dream that this is what I'm going to do. And two, I really feel like people need to hear my story because so many people feel helpless and hopeless. And I think that people need to know that other people have done it. So what I do now is I step out. I do things that are uncomfortable. I just did my coach. I have a coach and my coach just did another um, Think and Grow Rich. I don't know if you've heard of that by Napoleon Hill. So uh, he just did another study, another book study on that. So I just did that. And, and the book study doesn't just consist of reading the book. It is self-reflection, right? What is holding me back from getting what I want right now? So I do a lot of self-reflection. It's So now, instead of it being, you know, not doing drugs or alcohol or changing that habit, it's living this life that I desire to live. So it's what some may call more simple um, because I'm not in the middle of an act of addiction, but it is still challenging at times because I, I have to break through those terror bearers you know the things that hold me back that the potholes in the road i have to learn how to overcome them and go around them what is that process like of of feeling the discomfort and not medicating it with whatever for yeah. medication yeah well it is so uh one thing that i do too is i do a lot of self-talk so I do a lot of reprogramming my my thoughts. So I believe that um, everything starts with our thoughts, right? So I, I spend time every day. I spend 30 minutes in the morning just, I have a goal and I have a purpose um, written down. And I sit there, I, I read it and I feel it. I don't just read it, I feel it. And then I sit back and I, I, I envision it with the feelings and all. And um that's what I do every day. And then I get out here and I do the next best thing. You know, one thing that's going to take me closer to my dream. Some days it doesn't feel like I'm accomplishing anything. Some weeks it doesn't. But I do it anyway because I know from my past results that I'm going to get the results that I desire if I just do the thing. Right? Do the thing and then you'll get the energy to do the thing. <laughs> so that's what I do every day. You've really reprogrammed your brain. So what is next on your list? What reprogramming are you working on next? Well, so right now, well, okay. So right now I am one, uh, working on some things I'm doing. Um, so I go to the prison now into the prisons of Florida and I do some training and I met with a certification. So what I volunteer, but I'm working actually on going there. I, I'm working, I guess it's not a grant, getting paid to go in there. So what I do, what I'm doing right now is I have to work on the confidence to be able to get in there and one, to be able to sell this stuff, right? Because I got to be able to sell me for one. Um, and I have to be able to connect with the people. You know, everything that I'm doing now is revolving around programming my brain and my my thoughts you know what you know I don't want my kids moving out I'm getting a yeah, um empty nester so the courage because now I'm going to go out in here I'm, I have this desire I have this dream to go into the world in an RV <laughs> so 
So I'm working on uh, just what, what does that look like for me? You know, because honestly, I was married from the time I was 15. So, yeah, I got married when I was 15. And then um, I was about 40, I think, whenever I divorced. So and then I, I didn't I haven't dated in a long time. So it's kind of like this whole being alone. Right. So now I'm going out into the world. I'm driving an RV. OK, that's not me. So it's re it's telling myself, you know, you can do this, you know, feeling good about it and just thinking about what does it feel like to be free, to be able to do these things, to have the things that I want. So right now, my goal is working on what is it that Diana wants? And that is, um, you know, getting out with, you know, making like going into the prison, living the life that I want. When my kid moves out, I'm driving, you know, I'm successful. I'm out here helping people. So I have this enormous dream to be able to help people all around the world. I know, number one, people, even if they're not addicted to drugs and alcohol, some a lot of times, either you know people that are and you're struggling in that area, or you just have dreams that you want to accomplish. And so my goal is to get out here and help more people live the life that they want. How beautiful is that? I love how you've given yourself permission just to state what you want and go after it without reference to your past. I had a question yeah. for you. Do you think our do you think our past is real? That's real. But do I have to live in it? No. My past is just that in the rear view mirror. So my thing is, is that I don't, people, you know, sometimes people say, oh, don't tell people you used to be a drug addict. I was a bad drug addict. I was a lot more, I was addicted to a lot of stuff. And so my theory is, is if you judge me, that's your problem, not mine. I do not hold myself accountable. I do not hold myself hostage to anything that happened in my past. My past is exactly that. I use everything in my past to help me in my future and to maybe help you or to help someone else. But it's not going to hold me back. And that's a choice I have to make, though. We all have choices to make. You and I don't judge you if you hold back if you if you use yours, but I'll help you not use it if you choose that. Diana, I love it. Uh, where can people connect with you? I'll be tagging you in this interview. Do you have any links or anything to share besides your Facebook personal page? I do. I have if you go to Diana Flow, you can either go to dianaflow.com or you can go to Diana Flow Coaching. Either one will get you to my website. You can connect with me on there. I'm on TikTok, Diana Flo. I'm on uh, Instagram. Now I will tell you that I'm get, I, I was I've kind of slacked off on my TikTok, but I'm getting ready in my social media actually because I've been so focused on what I'm doing. But I'm getting ready to kick it back up again. So yeah, just if you type in dianaflow.com, you'll find me. And that's d i a n a f l o w e dot com, correct? That's Yep. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, Diana. I love your the permission you've given yourself to dream and to live and to go after what you want. I thank it's you. it's brave, it's bold, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you having me on here. Oh, it's my joy. If you have been watching in Power Network TV today or on the replay, Diana Flo has been speaking to us and demonstrating beautifully for us how to go after and let go of anything in the past. Well, Diana, you are inspirational. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. All right, we'll chat soon, everyone.